exam. Hello friends, this video on structural organization of animals part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So talking about the reproductive system of earthworms. So how do earthworms reproduce? How do they give birth to new worms? The first thing that we should know is that earthworm is hermaphrodite. What is hermaphrodite? This is a familiar term, right? We have spoken about hermaphrodite before. It means bisexual. That means inside one earthworm, you have both the male as well as the female sex organs. For example, in case of human beings, you have separate human beings as male and female. Right? So, male and female sex organs are present in different organisms. But here in case of earthworm, the same organism will have the male sex organs as well as the female sex organs. Now, the question is, where are these sex organs located in earthworm? That we will look at little later. Development is direct. What do we mean by direct development? Like, once the new baby is born, the new worm is born, it is, an, it is a little earthworm which is born. So that is known as direct development. Because there are many organisms where there are, there is an intermediate state between that organism which is formed and the adult. So but in case of earthworm, it is not like that. An adult earthworm gives birth to a baby earthworm. So there is no other stage involved. So that is why we say that development is direct. Now, when we talk about the sex organs, where are they located? The sex organs are located between the 9th and 15th segment. So, if you say this particular area. So, within this area, most of the important sex organs are located. So, now we will quickly look at the male sex organs as well as the female sex organs in earthworm. So the male reproductive system consists of the following important organs, testis, seminal vesicles, vas deferens, prostatic and spermatic duct, male genital pores and spermatheca. Now many of these terms are already known to you when we spoke about the reproductive system of human beings. Like we, you already know testis, seminal vesicles, vas deferens, all these things are already known to you. Anyways, we will talk about it again here. Female reproductive system consists of the following important parts that is ovaries, ovarian fan, funnel, oviduct and female genital pore. So now let us see where each of them are located and what is their function. So we will start with male reproductive system. The first important part of male reproductive system is testis. Now two pairs of testes are present inside the testis sacs. So there are sac like structure, I mean um, you can say a cavity kind of a thing inside which the testes are located. They are present in 11th, 10th and 11th segment. So here where is your 10th and 11th segments here? So where is the testis sac? This structure which you see here, this is nothing but the testis sacs. And Inside this are located the testes. So these are the testes. Next is seminal vesicles. Seminal vesicles also exist in pairs. They produce, store and release sperm via male pores. So where do we have the seminal vesicles? They are located here. So here you can see they also exist in pairs. See this is one pair. Again this is one pair. So these are seminal vesicles. Now what is their function? They can temporarily store sperm. They can release the sperm through the um, male pores. We will see where the male pore is. First understand each of the part and then we can understand the entire functioning. How the male sex cells are produced. Next is vas deferens. It is a tube like structure which runs from testis sac to the 18th segment. So this is vas deferens. So if you see it starts running from the testis sac. So this was the testis sac, correct? So from testis sac, it runs up to the 18th segment. So almost around 18th segment, it runs till there. So it is basically, it is a tube-like structure which is used to carry the sperm. So once the sperm is released from the seminal vesicles, this uh, will carry it. Prostatic and spermatic duct. So where do we have that? 
It opens to the external through male genital pores. Fluid helps in sperm motility. So basically this is the prostatic and spermatic duct. So here you see some tube like structure. So wherever it ends that is nothing but the male pore. So the pore which opens to the exterior through which the uh, male sex cells or the sperms are actually released outside. So this is your prostatic and spermatic duct. Because the prostate duct and the sperm duct, they both meet together. So this is your prostate gland. Since this duct is associated with prostate gland, so it is called prostatic duct. Male genital pores, they also exist in pairs on the ventrolateral side of 18th segment. So where do we have the male genital pores? The pores are present here around the 18th segment and they are present on the ventrolateral side that is sideways I mean towards the belly side but sideways not in the mid center of the belly right so these are some of the important parts so far next is spermatica four pairs exist in sixth to ninth segments they receive and store spermatozoa so these are your spermatica so what do they do? They will store sperms like when they receive sperms from some other earthworm, they will receive it and they will store it in themselves. They exist in four pairs, right? Now let us try to understand what actually happens during this process. Now basically what happens is any earthworm, at least the male reproductive system of any earthworm will produce sperm. Right? That is the uh, basic function of the male reproductive system to produce sperm. So that sperm will be produced in all these parts. That means the testis, like how we have in human beings. Testis help in the production of sperm. So here also same thing. Testis which are located inside the testis sac will produce the sperm. Seminal vesicles will store those sperms temporarily. And then seminal vesicles will release the sperms through the vas difference. Now this vas difference will carry the sperm and then through the uh, this uh, prostatic and spermatic duct. Why do we have these duct? Here also some fluids will be present and those fluids will help in the movement of the sperm. And finally the sperm will be uh, thrown out or given out through the male genital pore. Right? Now where will the earthworm give this sperm. Now basically in case of earthworm, every earthworm has a male reproductive system. But what they do for reproduction, they exchange their sperms. So fertilization doesn't happen with the sperm and the egg of the same earthworm. It doesn't happen like that. So earth, earthworms will exchange their sperm. So now this earthworm has produced some sperms. That sperms will be released from here. So the other earthworm will receive these sperms through the spermatic egg. And then it will store that sperm in the spermatica. So basically this portion, spermatica is used to receive sperm from other earthworm. And this portion that is male genital pore is used to give sperm to the other earthworm. Right? So that is how exchange of sperm will take place between two earthworms. Right? So you understand the process of reproduction. For reproduction to take place, earthworms must exchange their sperms. Now once they exchange their sperms, then the fertilization will happen with that exchanged sperm and the female sex cell. Clear? Okay. So now... Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.